Hey guys, Shay with the Waihee, and uh, I'm just coming to you from our packing house, and I've had a lot of questions and requests um, from customers and consumers asking what it is that we're doing to protect um, our consumers of our onions and make sure that they're not getting sick. So I'm gonna walk you into my break room and show you some of the steps that we're doing. Now, these are not steps that are different than normal. I, I have to tell you that. We're not doing things differently now um, than what we have for um, several years. We are always concerned about some sort of foodborne illness, whether it be E. coli or salmonella or something like that. So when you come into our restrooms, you obviously have a normal restroom, but we have a hand washing station. We've got a hand washing station that's no touch. So you put your hand down, you get the water, put your hand under the air blade, and you dry your hand. Okay? That's number one. Right? Obviously, soap dispensers are right there on the left and the right. Then if we come out, if we touch anything else, we uh, want to grab something out of our coat from the coat rack, or we grab something from the vending machine, or we're going to eat something. That's cool, right? But after that, we're going to wash our hands again. We come to this spot before we go out to the production floor, and we wash our hands a second time. Now, bathroom one, wash our hands touch anything else, you gotta do it again. Then step number three in the process is this, right? See these all over the place? Hand sanitizer, you rub your hand down, you grab the doorknob, and you go out to work. If anyone is sick, they have um, a fever, it's always been in our policy and continue to be in our policy not to come to work. If they have, um, diarrhea or anything like that, that's always been on our, our protocol not to come to work because we don't want to spread illness. Now, at the same time, if we're not packing and we're not working, you're not getting food at the grocery store. So we can't stop doing what we're doing. What we have to do is minimize the risk to ourselves and to our employees, make sure that we're staying clean and sanitized. And I'm hoping that because of the processes and hand washing systems that we already have in place, that we're that much better off than in other situations. Also, we live in small town America. We're not riding the subway to come into work. We're not um, crowding into a train. We're not doing all of those things. We're relatively um, separated. That social separation that we've been talking about naturally occurs. So anyway, those are the steps that we're taking. We're really trying to make sure that your food supply is safe. We're trying to make sure that the food supply is safe because we're clean and, and following the right protocols, but also making sure that it's safe in the aspect that we can get it delivered to you by doing what we should to keep ourselves from getting sick. Take care, guys.